Elaine was a young woman living alone in a small seaside town. She spent her days walking along the shore, and her nights writing about the town's history. Yet, she always felt that something was missing. Deep down, she longed to find true love, but the thought of searching for it scared her. She had never really trusted anyone before. One day, while working on her research, Elaine met a mysterious man, Caden. He had recently moved to the town and was quiet and reserved. But from the moment Elaine met him, she felt an odd attraction. Their conversations were brief at first, but with each interaction, they noticed a deeper connection forming between them. Caden offered to help Elaine. I might know something about the owner of this bottle, he said one day as they sat by the shore. Elaine was surprised. Really? Why didn't you mention it before? she asked. Caden gazed off into the distance, as if the weight of the past rested on his shoulders. Because I've been searching for something that's been lost too, he replied. As Elaine and Caden spent more time together solving the mystery, they explored the ruins around town and the old lighthouse. Their bond grew stronger, but everything came with a cost. Secrets from the past were pulling them closer while also keeping them apart. Caden's reluctance to talk about his past left Elaine with more questions than answers. Point one day, while walking along the shore, Elaine found a small bottle washed up by the waves. Inside was a note. If you found this message, please find me, it read. That was all it said. Elaine was stunned as she read the note, examining the bottle more closely. It didn't feel like an ordinary letter. It felt like a call. Determined to find the person behind the message, Elaine saw this as an opportunity to break away from the monotony of her life and perhaps fill the emotional void she had always felt. She had always felt. But this search would lead her down a dangerous and mysterious path. Day by day, she tried to discover who had sent the bottle, but no one in the town seemed to know anything about it. Elaine decided to visit the town's old library, thinking she might find information about the bottle there. Thinking she might find information about the bottle there. After some time searching through ancient books, she finally found a clue. According to the town's legends, bottles like this were said to be signs of a love lost long ago. The person who had sent it might indeed be waiting for her somewhere. After meeting Caden, Elaine began to feel a new excitement in her life. At first, she saw him only as a mysterious figure, but soon the bond between them deepened. Caden's silence and mysterious past intrigued her and drew her closer. Every conversation with him felt like solving a puzzle, but as she tried to piece it together, it only became more complex. One day, while walking toward the old lighthouse on the town's shore, Caden suddenly stopped and stared intently at the top of the lighthouse. His eyes narrowed slightly, as if he was recalling something from the past. Elaine noticed his hesitation. Caden, what are you thinking? She asked, her voice tinged with concern. Caden's silence always hinted at something hidden. Slowly, Caden turned his head and looked at her, but there was a deep sigh in his gaze. This lighthouse, he said slowly, it has a significant place in my past, but I haven't been here in a long time. Now I understand why I'm here. Elaine wanted to know more about his cryptic words. Why, Caden? What are you hiding? Did you bring me to this town? She asked, stepping closer to him. Her words seemed to unsettle him, as a flicker of fear flashed in his eyes. The person who sent those messages is connected to me too, he said softly. Elaine felt a mixture of excitement and unease. Caden's reluctance to be fully open left her with many unanswered questions. Yet with every moment they spent together, they grew closer. But one night, Caden suddenly disappeared. When Elaine awoke the next morning, there was no trace of him. Confused and worried, she searched the town. His disappearance filled her with both fear and a deep sense of loss. Just when she thought she had found the emotional connection she had been longing for, she was forced to confront the mystery of Caden's secret. Reflecting on the night Caden disappeared, Elaine returned to the shore. The sea's waves were as dark as the night, but she noticed a faint light on the horizon. The old lighthouse, which had been in use for years, was glowing that night. Instinctively, she headed toward it. There, she found Caden. He was holding another bottle, just like the one she had found before. Caden revealed the truth to her, I'm the one who sent these bottles. Years ago, I suffered a great loss. The reason I returned to this town was to search for the person I lost. But I found you, Elaine. Maybe you were the one I was meant to find. Elaine's heart raced. Filled with both surprise and excitement, she looked into Caden's eyes. But why did you leave me? She asked. Caden took a deep breath. I didn't think you would keep searching for me. 
That night, they embraced at the top of the lighthouse. The bottle was only the beginning of their story. Both had found the love they had been searching for, but this love would take them on a much greater adventure than they had expected. Elaine realized that the emptiness she had felt for years was now gone. With Caden by her side, she was ready to heal the wounds of the past and step into a new future.